Good morning team, welcome to a brand new week at MVC. This might be in the running for weirdest location of Devo filming yet this year. I am, yes, in a hotel room, it looks like that, and that is true. I am at the ACSI conference uh, down in San Diego with uh, Christian schools from all around the world, literally. There are 19 countries represented here, 39 out of the 50 states, and it's been a really exciting opportunity to be learning and growing and just hearing more about what God is doing in and through Christian education literally around the world. Um, I'm excited to share a passage from the book of Matthew this week that was uh, part of a session that I just finished up actually and I was so inspired by it I thought oh that's absolutely what I'm gonna share in devotions and so Matthew chapter 22 verses 36 to 40 it says teacher which is the greatest commandment in the law and he said to them you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind this is the great and first commandment and a second is like it you shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. And the context of the session in which they focused on that passage this afternoon was talking about equipping us for leaning into and leading through conflict. Um, it was a lot about our current culture of outrage and disgust and just the different dynamics that we all sense and feel in different ways um, in our, our broader community and culture. And we talked about how we as Christian schools have a huge opportunity to uh, interact with those difficult things in a different way and be salt and light and something that people step back and notice because it's not the norm. And the way the passage was referenced and what I want to leave you with as you go into your week was really an encouragement to us to use those two commandments as a lens and a filter when we go into any kind of interaction uh, with other people, but particularly thinking about difficult interactions or um, interactions where there's conflict and rub. And that was the lens of saying, as I walk away from that interaction, did I help that other person or that other party or that other group to love the Lord their God even better? And did I help them love their neighbor as themselves? And I just thought that was a really neat filter that we might use. Um, I know I'm going to try and use it and think about uh, either as I walk away or as I walk into interactions with other people. How can I navigate this situation, this conversation, in such a way that this person is led toward loving the Lord their God with all their heart and that they are led toward loving their neighbor as themselves? And um, I don't know, I encourage you to maybe give it a try this coming week as well. I have a feeling that a filter or a lens like that could be um, a pretty influential force in uh, what it looks like to interact around our school and our community this week. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great week.